I'ma let y'all hear this video, then I'm gonna play the other video. Earlier today, I or earlier this morning, I dropped a video that was basically explaining what my life was like on the weekends. And so yesterday, uh, I initially uh, thought that I was boy, you ready? the Nintendo Lions game, and what a phenomenal game that it was. It was a great game. They beat the Los Angeles Rams right here in Detroit. Uh, I think that we're going to win the Super Bowl this year, but that's just my opinion. I'm a Detroit man, which means I'm a Detroit fan, right? And so I didn't make it to the game, though. I could have went to the game, but I didn't make it to the game. And I also had a conversation uh, with my wife, right? Can y'all still hear that? And that conversation was, hey, listen, September is the ninth. Until we get to the new year, okay. the less the more less you get to the new year. And I got to call it. And so a lot of people ask me, you know, it's something that everybody can embrace because everybody don't believe like that, right? And so I gave it the name Buffalo, but in a sense, it allows you to increase some of the focus on certain things. Some things that you may want to solve. Maybe you got some problems. And I think personally that addiction is a big deal. That's not something that I deal with uh, personally as far as drug addiction. But I think that everybody has vices. Everybody has weaknesses. And if we don't address them, and this is largely something that I speak to men about, but I definitely want to make sure that women, I hope y'all to understand that women can't embrace us. We run on this treadmill every single day, and we don't like stop and take accountability or we don't take inventory of what our lives are really like and so we just run and you find yourself in the same position or worse every single year you keep doing the same thing over and over and getting the same results and you don't really understand what's happening in your life so you know most people they all do it at the same time and they all do it in the first 15 days Nah, I'm coming. What might be? Thank you. 
Did you get a car? Yo, that's something right there that I took advantage of. Like, I really, can see, I, you can listen to these videos, but when you really listen and think about it, bro, you really can't get ahead of everybody because 90% of people is really thinking about the opposite of homing in on their growth. They're thinking about the parties, the enjoyment of hanging out and stuff like that they're planning on the next activity and i really took that to heart bro like i really can't just bunker down bro and save and invest and and go to the gym and go to work every day like it sucks bro but like if you you could really take that to heart and just lock in and just get ahead of so many bro I'm going to say this is especially because I'm black. You know what I'm saying? You can get ahead of so many black people, bro, just by simply doing the opposite of hanging out and partying. Bro, it's so crazy that I'm saying that, but that's so real. As a black person, you can get ahead so fast, though, because most of us are hanging out, partying, doing some shit that ain't going to benefit us in long term. I mean, I, I, and, I, and I mean, any race can take advantage of this, but I just know for me, and I ain't got a shooting code, I know as a black man, I know where most of my, my homies at. And I know by me going to work an extra day, or me going to gym an extra hour, or me, you know what I'm saying, finding another way I can flip my money, I know I'm getting ahead of a bunch of niggas. And that's why I gotta let you hear this other video too, bro. This nigga right here, he, he really nice with it. But I'm, I'm going to let you hear it, hopefully, today. Yo, Sport, you back? <clears throat> but I'm going to let him finish, though. Sport, you here? Yeah, K, we are... We, um... Okay, so, yeah, we got three right now, K. Never appreciate you for popping out, though. And, and look, bro, on some real shit, y'all, for everybody that's tuning in that not on this, just try it, my nigga, and see the benefit. Bruh. Ooh, my dude, go, go. Like, I'm telling you. And I know we hear this shit, but we don't apply this shit. I read saw that quote yesterday. Applied knowledge is the best knowledge. 
Because it's one thing to know something, but to apply it, that's the fucking knowledge right there. Applied knowledge is the best knowledge. Bro, for 30 days, really don't party. You will see how much money you have. See how much stress free you be. You know what I'm saying? Like, your life changed drastically, bro. It, it's so, it's so crucial. That's why I said, like, I don't, I don't argue with nobody. I don't, like, I don't have no back and forth conversations. Like, I used to engage in back and forth conversations. No, <laughs> bro, you get no back and forth with me. We don't do that. I don't, I don't. If once I say what I say, if you making a critical point, then yes, I take that and I and I take heed to that. But other than that, man, the conversation over. It. Especially if you're not trying to talk in a positive manner, like where we can get something done. I don't hear no complaining. Like no disrespect, but how my boy Thunder was just over here, you know, fussing about his shot, and I and I said it respectfully, like, you know, bro, we don't like, you know, no, you know, what I'm saying it's no point in complaining. Let's play the game because now speaking like you know what i'm saying i'm not like because i i may speak on it but it's not complaining because we okay with what 2k do we okay with 2k this is their game we okay if 2k decided to kick us off the game right now who can get mad Daddy? huh oh you pretty oh pretty girl like 2k say Right now, we got y'all money. We don't want y'all to play our game. You can't get mad. It's their game. So they can break it. They can fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we can chat and talk. We can do some of the chitty chat, but we don't complain. We don't get mad at 2K for doing what they want to do with their game. You know what I'm saying? So that's like, you know, like, like you know, not no disrespect to my lady. You know, we don't hear no... If it ain't a solution on the end of it, like if you ain't talking to me, I don't want to hear nothing about anything other than solution. Give me a solution. If it ain't no solution, then don't even bring it to me. I don't, I don't want. To, I don't care. It don't exist. Cause I want to talk about things that we can fix. I want to hear how we can fix this issue. You know that's. You know that's. You know what I'm saying. But like I said, man, try it though. Try it for all the young G's. You know, it's so important for y'all, man. And then for us older people, too. Like I said, I'm 32. I didn't know that I can. Because I thought, at least I can hear it. Like the other day, uh, for an example, uh, one of my relatives, they was um, reading. And they started laughing. And because they didn't know how to read what they was reading. Right? So right there at that age, and it was a young person, a young kid. At that age, it let me know that, bro, we can be embarrassed early that we don't know how to do something and other people go around. You feel me? Like I'm telling you, you think, you know how I felt, bro, to know that I'm in a restaurant acting like I'm a five-star man, but don't know how to put my spoon and fork and napkin and I got to watch other people. It was embarrassing, but most people are let that embarrassing keep them. That's just like, like for an example, and I can use it for example, like my lady, she don't really want to go to the gym for the simple fact of uh, people going to be looking at her growing. She going to use the machine wrong. She going, you know, people don't like that stuff. Nobody want to go to the gym and don't know and look like they don't know what they doing. That's embarrassing. But guess what? The embarrassing is how you grow. Because guess what? Somebody going to say to themselves, this is how you do it the correct way. So you ain't hurt nobody but yourself when you saying, man, I can't let nobody see me struggling like this. You only losing. You the only poor. You sitting there thinking you doing something because you choosing to hide your uh, lack. You choosing to hide the fact that you don't have the knowledge in something. Now you can't get the proper help you need. Bingo. Ooh, how many of us were struggling in the house, didn't have food and stuff like that? So guess what? You don't tell nobody, so you keep struggling. Now, what if you tell somebody? How many people get abused in relationship and say, I can't tell nobody? They're embarrassing. Bro, I'm telling you, I really sat down one day and I figured it out. Embarrassment is really killing us. We afraid to be embarrassed. People go through abusive relationships, go through painful things in their life, 
and they won't get help because they don't want people to know that they've been struggling. Man, I'm too embarrassed for people to know that my lights been cut off three or four times. Well, how you gonna get help? Bro, you gotta lose that shit. Fuck embarrassing. Don't worry about you don't have name brand clothes. You might have name brand clothes three years from now. You gotta be willing to be okay with being embarrassed at school wearing the shoes that everybody ain't got. And then one day you'll have them shoes. I'm gonna play the other video later though. He, this dude was talking some fire shit, bro. But well, alright though, what's good, old man? Alright, this is a comp game, comp game, comp game, comp game. Stay safe. Switch. Good. I'm here, I'm here. Watch the cut, uh, Thunder. Four. Drop, 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 drop. Good. Whoever got the guard cut back door. Go ahead, go. It's time to stay up. Mm, we got it. Go oh, I just. That's big. Time to cut. Alright, we on the board first. Pay attention. I'm connected. I'm still here. Good. Good for it. I got the center box. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Good. Good. I'm here. Stay, stay, stay. Release. That's on me. Thank you for jumping. I'm in the corner. What's up? Ow. Ow. Good patience. Thunder. The pass. Perfect. The teamwork. Way to take advantage. Stay, stay, release. I'm under. Good. Stay, stay. Jump. Good, Thunder. Foot. I tried to oop that, but I logged it, so that's cool. Stay, 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 stay. We're going for two. Foot, stop at the right wing. On the right corner. Hey, 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 hey. Good. I'm here. I'm under. I'm under. Stay. Stay. Good. Teamwork. Go it. Over. Under. Good. I wanted to see. The shot. The teamwork. Over. Stay. Stay. That's me. My fault. Stay. All right, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm still here. Over. 
Good jump. Slow, slow, slow. Thunder. Oh, it slipped. See you here. Under. Switch. Good. That's all. Box out. Fire shot. I know, bro. It's tough. It's tough to stop. That's all. That's too hard to stop, bro. A whole mission. Rebound. Good pass. Game. Rebound. Let you face this food. Today record. Mm. <laughs> Just like, what is you over there talking about? Nah, nah. <laughs> Why you block irony? Go let irony out. Lucky, 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 lucky. Hello, money magicians. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics everyone's thinking about, how to make more money. But here's the twist. We're not talking about get-rich-quick schemes or any of that flashy nonsense. Nope, today is all about 10 simple, rock-solid steps to boost your income, increase your wealth, and make money work for you. Each of these steps is backed by wisdom, practicality, and let's be honest, a touch of irony, because life isn't always a straight line to success. In today's video, we're unveiling a roadmap to make more money that anyone can follow, regardless of where you are in your financial journey. We'll dive into proven principles inspired by financial legends like Brian Tracy, designed to help you build a solid foundation for lasting wealth. But before we jump in, let me share a story about the man whose insights shaped today's lessons. Brian Tracy 
wasn't always the successful author and motivational speaker we know today. In fact, he started from humble beginnings, working as a laborer in his teens, traveling the world and doing odd jobs to get by. At one point, he even hit rock bottom, working on a ship for months on end. But instead of accepting his circumstances, Brian decided he was going to learn everything he could about success, wealth, and financial freedom. He read hundreds of books, studied successful people, and began implementing every strategy he came across. Little by little, he applied what he learned, made smarter financial choices, and grew his wealth from the ground up. His story is a reminder that no matter where you start, the right mindset, resilience, and strategies can change everything. So let's dive into these 10 steps, inspired by the very wisdom that transformed Brian Tracy's life. The foundation of wealth building starts with purpose. Without a clear understanding of why you want to make money, it's easy to get caught up in a cycle of earning and spending without any real direction. Think about it. If you're chasing money for its own sake, you might achieve short-term success, but it won't bring lasting fulfillment. As Brian Tracy emphasizes, clarity on your purpose transforms the way you approach every financial decision. So ask yourself, what's driving your desire for wealth? Maybe it's the freedom to travel the world, secure your family's future, or retire early. Whatever your reason, defining it gives you a sense of direction. When you know why you're on this journey, you're less likely to make impulsive financial decisions and more likely to stick to a plan. Here's an exercise. Write down your financial purpose and visualize what your life looks like once you've achieved it. How do you feel? What opportunities open up? This vision is what will keep you motivated, and when obstacles arise, remembering your purpose will make it easier to stay disciplined. Your why becomes your financial north star, guiding your decisions and helping you prioritize what truly matters. Now that you know your purpose, let's set the wheels in motion with clear, achievable goals. Once you've defined your purpose, the next step is to translate that purpose into actionable goals. Having financial goals brings focus and direction to your journey. It's like the title of this video, Make More Money with These 10 Simple Steps, Clear and Direct. Your goals should be the same, clear, specific, and tailored to your vision of success. Start by setting both short-term and long-term goals. Short-term goals can be things like paying off credit card debt or saving a specific amount each month. Long-term goals might include buying a home, investing for retirement, or achieving financial independence. When you set these goals, make sure they're smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, instead of a vague goal like save money, try something concrete like save $500 a month for the next year. Goals are powerful motivators because they turn dreams into achievable milestones. They also help you measure your progress. Every time you hit a milestone, it boosts your confidence and keeps you on track. Having goals also prevents you from drifting. They remind you of the bigger picture and the steps needed to get there. With clear goals in place, it's time to talk about choosing the right financial vehicle that will carry you towards those goals. When it comes to building wealth, selecting the right financial vehicle is crucial. This means identifying the career, business, or investment path that best aligns with your skills, values, and goals. Brian Tracy emphasizes that your vehicle is what will drive you towards financial success, and choosing wisely can mean the difference between stagnant progress and exponential growth. The first step in choosing your vehicle is understanding your strengths and interests. Are you naturally inclined toward leadership, creativity, or analytical thinking? For instance, if you're a great communicator, a career in sales, marketing, or public relations might be an ideal fit. If you're analytical and prefer working with numbers, you might excel as a financial analyst or in a role related to investments. The right vehicle isn't always about what pays the most initially. It's about finding a path where your skills and values align with income potential. For example, someone who values flexibility and autonomy might prefer freelancing or entrepreneurship over a traditional job. On the other hand, someone who enjoys stability might find fulfillment and financial growth in a well-structured corporate role with opportunities for advancement. 
It's also essential to consider the growth potential of your chosen vehicle. Research the industry, potential for income growth, and whether it aligns with your lifestyle goals. And remember, you can always adjust your path. Many successful people have switched vehicles mid-career to find something better suited to their strengths and passions. Choosing the right vehicle is about playing to your strengths and setting yourself up for sustainable financial success. Now that you've identified the vehicle that suits you, let's move on to a crucial wealth-building principle, adding value. If there's one principle every successful person understands, it's this, money follows value. Brian Tracy emphasizes that wealth is a byproduct of creating, enhancing, and delivering value to others. Whether you're an employee, entrepreneur, or investor, the more value you provide, the higher your income potential. In a career setting, adding value might mean improving processes, helping colleagues succeed, or going above and beyond in your role. Think of ways you can contribute to the company's success or make your boss's job easier. This not only helps the organization, but also makes you an indispensable part of the team, increasing your chances of raises and promotions. For entrepreneurs, adding value means finding ways to solve customers' problems and making their lives easier. This could be through exceptional service, a unique product, or solving a specific pain point that's otherwise ignored. The more you solve problems, the more people are willing to pay for your solutions. Investors, too, can add value by choosing assets that positively impact communities, such as real estate developments that provide affordable housing or stocks in companies with sustainable practices. When you focus on value creation, wealth flows naturally, as people will always pay for something that makes their lives better or easier. Now let's look at how going the extra mile in your work can accelerate your path to wealth, following our mission to make more money. One of the fastest ways to increase your income is by excelling in your role. Brian Tracy shares that by going above and beyond the minimum requirements. You can stand out in any organization and position yourself for promotions, bonuses, and recognition. To get paid more and promoted faster, start by understanding what truly matters in your role. Identify the key metrics or projects that your company values most and find ways to contribute to those areas. By focusing on high-impact tasks, you demonstrate your commitment to the organization's success. For example, if you work in sales, closing more deals or building relationships with high-value clients can make a noticeable difference. Another way to stand out is by showing initiative. Rather than waiting for instructions, proactively look for ways to improve processes or solve problems. This mindset doesn't go unnoticed and often positions you as a leader, even if it's informal at first. As your contributions add up, you become an invaluable asset to your organization, which can lead to higher pay and career advancement. Investing in skill development is also key. Continuously improving yourself, whether it's through courses, certifications, or learning from mentors, keeps you relevant and enhances your value to the organization. The combination of delivering exceptional results and constant learning makes you a prime candidate for higher positions and better pay. Next, let's dive into why mastering your craft can be a game changer in your financial journey. When you become an expert at what you do, you automatically increase your earning potential. Tracy explains that mastery builds confidence, credibility, and demand for your skills or products, which translates into more money. When people recognize you as a master in your field, opportunities come knocking on your door. Achieving mastery starts with a commitment to lifelong learning. Dedicate time to reading industry-related books, taking courses, and practicing your skills. Stay updated with trends and innovations in your field, as these can set you apart from the competition. For example, if you're a graphic designer, keeping up with the latest design software and techniques makes you more valuable to clients or employers. Mastery is also about consistency and persistence. It's easy to be good at something, but to be great, you have to push beyond comfort zones. This might mean taking on challenging projects, seeking feedback, and continuously honing your skills. Over time, your hard work pays off, and you become known as a go-to expert in your area. 
A masterful reputation attracts better clients, higher salaries, and exclusive opportunities. When people see you as the best in your field, they're willing to pay a premium for your expertise, and this financial advantage can compound over time. Let's move on to the next step, exploring how serving others can directly boost your financial success. Get ready to make more money with these simple steps. One of the greatest lessons in wealth building is that helping others succeed is a direct path to building your own success. Brian Tracy explains that when you genuinely aim to help others, be it your clients, colleagues, or community, you create lasting value that naturally attracts wealth. In a career setting, serving others could mean mentoring a colleague, supporting team goals, or sharing knowledge that benefits the group. Your willingness to lift others can establish you as a leader and someone people want to work with. Over time, this reputation leads to more opportunities, as people naturally gravitate toward those who add value to their lives. In business, focusing on serving customers creates loyalty. When customers feel they are genuinely helped and valued, they not only return but often refer others. This principle of service is why some of the most successful businesses prioritize customer satisfaction above all. The trust you build from serving others lays a solid foundation for long-term financial success. The beauty of this approach is that it creates a win-win scenario. As you help others achieve their goals, you also build a supportive network, earn trust, and open doors to new opportunities. Serving others is a powerful, indirect route to growing your income and achieving financial success. Next, let's explore how effectively marketing yourself can boost your financial journey. Whether you're an employee, freelancer, or business owner, knowing how to market and sell yourself is a crucial skill. Brian Tracy emphasizes that self-promotion is not about boasting, but about showcasing your value to potential employers, clients, and partners. Start by identifying your unique skills, accomplishments, and contributions. Develop a personal brand that reflects your expertise and the value you bring. This brand could be built through social media, a personal website, or networking events where you share insights in your field. The goal is to make sure people know who you are, what you do, and why you're good at it. Self-promotion also includes communicating your achievements effectively. Instead of waiting for someone to notice, Take ownership of sharing your successes and the impact you bring. This could mean updating your resume, discussing your progress in performance reviews, or seeking testimonials from clients. By positioning yourself as a valuable asset, you increase the likelihood of higher-paying offers and opportunities for advancement. When done right, marketing yourself positions you as an authority, which makes people more willing to invest in your skills or services. Self-promotion is an essential step in building a strong financial foundation. Moving forward, let's shift our mindset to transform our approach to wealth building. We'll explore the concept of seeing yourself as self-employed. Let's continue our journey to make more money. Here's the truth. Even if you work for someone else, adopting an entrepreneurial mindset is essential for maximizing your earning potential. Tracy suggests that by seeing yourself as self-employed, you take full responsibility for your success, proactively seeking growth opportunities and treating your job as if it were your own business. This mindset shift changes how you approach your work. Rather than simply completing tasks, you're now looking for ways to make an impact, improve efficiency, and drive results. Think of yourself as the CEO of your career. You set your vision, identify growth opportunities, and make decisions that serve your financial interests. This approach doesn't mean going against your employer's goals, but aligning your ambitions with the company's. By focusing on results that add value to the business, you make yourself indispensable. Over time, this can lead to promotion, salary increases, or new opportunities. Seeing yourself as self-employed also empowers you to build additional income streams, such as freelancing, consulting, or creating a side business. This flexibility and proactive mindset are powerful tools for achieving financial independence. Lastly, let's discuss the importance of surrounding yourself with the right people on your journey to wealth. The people you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your success. 
Brian Tracy emphasizes that building a network of like-minded, goal-oriented individuals is essential for personal and financial growth. Positive influences help you stay motivated, hold you accountable, and encourage you to reach higher. Find mentors who inspire you and connect with people who have already achieved the goals you're aiming for. Their experiences and advice can shorten your learning curve and give you valuable insights into wealth-building strategies. Conversely, limiting your time with negative influences or people who don't align with your goals can keep you on the path to success. Surrounding yourself with driven, positive individuals creates an environment that nurtures growth and financial success. Over time, you'll find that the right network not only supports you, but also opens doors to new opportunities, partnerships, and collaborations that can help you make more money. And there you have it, 10 powerful steps to making more money and building the life you desire. Remember, each step is simple yet transformative. Keep practicing them consistently and watch how your wealth grows. If you found these insights enlightening, I highly recommend checking out my next video, which complements this one perfectly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Which steps resonated with you the most? Or maybe there's another financial topic you'd like us to cover. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.